Hey everyone, this is Jack Bufton with Golf Busters. And in today's video, we're gonna be showing you and your friends who wanna use your simulator how to perfectly set up your Mevo Plus with PC and iOS. And a quick reminder, if you're looking to buy the Mevo Plus Golf Simulator, we can get it for you as cheap as possible with our code and link below. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get a tape measure and measure your distance from the screen to the ball and the ball to your Mevo Plus. The Mevo Plus is very picky, so make sure you're very detailed with this step. I recommend exactly eight feet from ball to Mevo Plus and then over 10 feet from ball to screen. Flight Scope recommends anywhere from seven to eight feet from ball to Mevo Plus and at least over nine feet of ball to screen. Then you're gonna set your Mevo Plus down. I recommend once you find a good setup distance to mark that somehow so you can repeat it every time. You'll notice that I have two screws to the bottom of my base so that I can get the same setup every time. Then you're gonna press and hold the button on top of the Mevo Plus until you hear it beep. At that point, it will take about 20 seconds to turn on. Then what I would recommend doing is getting your external battery packed, I'll link that in the description, and then make sure you use the cord that came with the Mevo Plus. I've heard there can be issues if you don't use the exact cord, so I've marked mine with green tape so I always know which one it is. Then you can plug the external battery pack into the Mevo Plus. After about 20 seconds, you'll hear it beep multiple times and that means the device is on. What I want you to do next is go over to your Wi-Fi. I have ethernet, so you see I click the ethernet symbol and you're gonna see the FlightScope Mevo Plus Wi-Fi right there. Now the first time you do this, it's going to ask for a password. The password is the serial number of your device which is also the name of the Wi-Fi. So ignore the FS part and you type in M2 dash whatever your numbers are, and that should get you logged in. Then you can open up your application. I use GS Pro. Now, once you've opened it up, here's the most important part. You're gonna see every PC device has a place for tilt and roll. I like to make sure my device is between 11.5 and 12.0 tilt, and between negative 0.1 and positive 0.1 roll. To adjust the tilt, you just use the part on the back and push that forward or backwards. The roll, you need to lift the left or right side somehow. Once you have your tilt and roll how you want it, you click over to settings. Now, if you're using E6 or another PC application, these settings may be a little different, but this is the settings I recommend. Sensor to T, eight feet. If there's an option for sensor to chipping, I recommend five feet, and sensor to putting, I recommend seven. If you're using GS Pro, I recommend checking the Use Flight Scope offline calculations as well. Then, last but not least, you need to click Camera Alignment. On my wall, I have mark points where the exact center is, so just make sure your camera is aligned center with the aim point. Now, as I was making this video, they added a couple of awesome features, which is going to help the Mevo Plus read even better. You won't see it on mine because I'm actually getting sent the new one right now, so I don't have it with me. But you're going to see a box right here for fusion tracking. You're going to want to check that. Now, don't get that confused with advanced fusion tracking with face impact. It's a different thing, but you'll want to have that fusion tracking checked from what FlightScope has told me. Then in your settings, you're going to see a ball type, standard or Titleist RCT. I highly recommend getting the RCT balls, and now GS Pro will check and read them even better with the new update. So if you have them, click that box and click Save and Apply All. After that, you're good to begin playing. Next, we're going to show you how to set up the FS Golf app. After you've made sure you're connected to the Wi-Fi, you need to click the Disconnected button and connect to your device. Once you're here, you're gonna see your serial number on the left-hand side. Click on that and click connect. Just like we did with GS Pro, make sure your tilt and roll are between 11.5 to 12 tilt and between negative 0.1 and 0.1 roll. Then we're gonna click start session. If you're outdoors, you use outdoors, or if you're inside, use limited flight. Make sure you change the distance to ball on your simulator. Like I said, I like mine at eight feet. If your T surface height is not dead even, then make sure you change the T for surface height. So if I didn't have that blue turf there, my Mevo Plus would sit about an inch and a quarter below the ball. So what I would do is drag the T surface height until it said 1.25 inches. Now, quick reminder, you wanna make sure your Mevo Plus to your ball is completely flat or it is on the ground and then has one step up. You don't wanna have your Mevo Plus an inch up and then have an inch down till it gets to the turf and then rise an inch up again. That will throw off the reading. So make sure it's either completely flat or you're setting your Mevo below the device the entire time. Then we're gonna click target alignment again and just make sure that's centered with your wall. Finally, the golf balls are very important. Make sure you select the correct golf balls when using the FS app. And once you've done all that, you can click start new session and begin hitting balls. 